Hello there my friends on the internet. In this video we are going to ma make some front end development. So without further ado, in the last video we created oops. Okay. In the last video we created uh tutorials for IT folder in the home directory. So I'll go there. Yeah, so we are, we get our tutorials for ID folder and I'll open Visual Studio Code. I'll just full screen it for better understanding. So now I will just drag this file and drop it in VS Code. So now, oops, okay. So now we get to access our tutorials for IT folder. In the last video, we made a rock, paper, scissor game. So we have it here, you can see. Now I'm going to create a new folder here, so which will be called as navbar2. So you might be wondering what I'm making today. So we are going to make this. Okay, so let us go into our navbar2 folder and go and create an index.html and a style stfinally.css and an app.js. So first we'll go to our file uh, index.html. Let me clear this all for more storage, I mean space. Okay, so now we are going to go live. As you can see here, see in the bottom corner. If you want to, if 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 in your VS Code this is not there, just go to this block icon here and search for live. I'm sorry, live server. So see, we can see a live server here. We have to just install it by clicking a button here. Now. I'll go to, I'll close this. If you don't have, you can just download it. Let us write some code here. So I'll write an exclamation mark and we get to see this. And I'll write here, liquidy nav bar. So now we are going to create a liquidy nav bar. So liquidy nav bar is which you saw in the video. So now I'm going to go live. Live doesn't mean YouTube live, it, is, it will go live on the PC, it will create a web server. For that I need to go 127.0.01 colon 5050. Okay, so navbar2. So see, we get to see our liquidity navbar title here. So in the next video, we'll go do some backend developing. For, in this video, we'll do some frontend developing. So now what we're going to create is a is create a navigation bar here, which will have home, contact us, and about us. So for that, I'll just create a nav here. I'll write nav. Then I'll, as you see, as you saw in the video, we have a hamburger menu right here in the top. So we'll also we'll also create it. So write a div dot burger. Now we got a div burger div here and we'll write dot line. We got a line div, we'll duplicate it by placing all by pressing alt shift and arrow key. The downwards. So now if I'll command s or control s, whatever save it. Let us zoom in into the code and chop out this. So now we get to see nothing. So to see something that we have to create an unordered list. So UL, the short form of unordered list is UL. Now inside that we have to create a, create a, a list. So LI. Now to give a link there we have to create a A. Now it will show this kind of thing. So we'll, we'll just put a hashtag here. What is this? Uh, it is a link. So as we know a hamburger menu, I mean the nav bar is consisting of uh, different links. So if we put a hashtag, it means a uh, dummy link. So we'll put here um, home. Then I duplicate this three times. I mean about, about us and contact. Uh, con 
the task command s so i'll just save it so see we can see a uh unclear navbar here this is actually the basic navbar in html with um, further uh, updated using css so for upgrading purpose we put a link here as we created a style.css we have to first embed it so link in the head menu you have to create a link there and in vs code or any other text editor we can see link css and after that there will be written emit abbreviation we just need to click on it so see we have to write here dot slash we get to see a style dot css just click it um, command or control s now i'll if i'll view the page source this is the code injected by the live server so if i'll go to dot slash navbar uh, style.css we get to see this this is our css file so now you might be wondering what are we going to do in css so let us do first of all i'll add a star here margin zero padding zero box sizing i'm sorry border box so now you can see this all came in the very top because we removed all the basic uh, basic formatting done by the browser itself so now i'm going to select this nav menu right here so nav i'm sorry nav we are going to give for the background of let's go to a website known as html color codes so we'll go to html color codes.com it has a color wheel or color box we can select a good color from here so let us select some color this is not looking cool yeah this is looking cool i think yeah let us do this one so i'll just can copy it and paste it so see we get to have a nav bar here now it is all done almost so, so now what i will do i'll increase the brightness so i'll bring all of these things to the center so for that i have to put a ul and display i'm sorry flex and uh, flex direction of column see i'm sorry we have to put i think row flex direction of row so see it came like this now we are going to justify it in the center oops what is this close this all things okay now we are going to justify it in the center so we'll put a justify content space i'm sorry space around so see it has been justified in the space around so now you can see this is very small so for that purpose i'll create a i'll put a uh, height here so height of 10 vh so see it is now pretty big so what i'm going to do is i'll put a l i a you can see there are this bulletin signs here we don't need that so we'll put a list style none actually you have to put it for uli only so li list style none so see we, it got disappeared so now i'm going to do is uh, lia so i'm going to put a lia here lia this is just a basic navbar so what we are going to do is put a text decoration of none now what will happen if we see the underline also went so we didn't need an underline so and i'll in the uh, uh, i write font family i write a b b apple system black max system something like this would come just click on it it's a brilliant font it's a built-in font i'm sorry it's a built-in font so see it's a beautiful font now i'll add a color here 
So, color. I had a color of, um, let us give black. So, see, it changed to black. Now, I'll in the LI list, I'll give a margin top. Margin top of something like 3VH. So, what will happen is we have made the height of the number as 10VH. Half of it is 5VH. But, but let's see what happens here. So, see, it's not perfectly center. We have to put 3.5. So, see, now it's perfectly center. So we have successfully created our nav bar. This is just a, this is a, an unresponsive nav bar, as you can see. See, let us inspect it. Put responsive. See, it doesn't change on any position. Instead, it couples up. So, what we're going to do is create it, make it responsive. That's what this video is all about. So, I'll add a to create a file or, oops, I'm sorry. So to create something responsive, a CSS thing, so we have to put an at the rate media SC screen, I'm sorry, SCREN screen and a bracket over there. So now the main width on which we want to applicate our nav bar, that liquid effect. So that should be of actually max width max width width will add a 728 px 728 px and a curly braces here so now what will happen as it reaches this 728 px pixel mark let's see what happens so we'll put a body here body display oops None. So now <laughs> let us see what happens. It's very funny what will happen. The C. So as it will, uh, as it will hit the 728 pixel mark, you can see it got disappeared. We didn't wanted this. So I just made this because to explain you uh, what is responsive. What is this at the rate media screen? So at the time when it touches this pixel mark. What happens is what we write here, whatever we will write here. So now what we add at the time it uh, happens, what we do is put ul put disposition instead of relative we will put absolute and we will put a flex direction of column we did a row here so we'll do a column text and we'll do text align of center so see now as i hit that pixel mark so you can see it came to the center it didn't came to the center actually so now what we need to do is ah uh, what will i do now Ah, uh, yeah, so let's do a text align center again. Text align center, nothing happened. So, um, so now what will I do? So, first of all, I'll add a width here. Width, let me close this width of 100% in the nav bar. So, nav, so, and I'll add a height here. Height of 10 VH and a width of again 100%. See what happened. Actually, we have to do this 100 VH. See, now it is all right. Now we'll add a text align center. A text align center. So see, now it is all perfect. It is working all perfect. It's in the center now. Now, what we'll do is we'll give it a background. Background of the color which we did here. So it is 9A367. It's not 9A367. It's something else. So see what happened. 
now we are then now first of all after doing this we are going to bring up our hamburger i mean burger so dot burger so now will bring a will bring our lines at first it will appear here so just see what i do it appears so line so what i will do is height of 3 px width of 30 px and what i will do is margin of 5 px so see we get to see our see what happened so to solve this i'll just put a position of absolute position absolute absolute whoops Oh, sorry, I didn't give a background color only. So background color of white. We never saw hamburger with black color. So still we are not able to see that. What happened? Let us see where is it. Let me open the body here. Nav burger. It's right on the top. So what we'll do is bring the burger down. So dot burger. Now we'll bring it down the margin top of 10 px just to see that it comes. So it is this thing now. Where is the burger? That whole thing is known as the burger according to this. So okay. So what I'll do is remove this background from here. See, we are now getting to see our burger. Mm. And I'll remove this position at. I'm sorry. Let us put this on front. I'll shift F to format the document. Command S, and I'll remove this burger. So see, we get to see our burger here. So now we are a margin of five px. So what will we do? Um, we'll add a margin. So first of all, we'll add a position of relative and margin top. Of 10 px, just to see. I think we need to put absolute. So absolute. So see, we get to see, and here we need to put relative. So relative. So see, we get to see our hamburger now. So margin top instead of 10 px, I'll do it. It will be right in center. So I'll do it 2 vh. What is VHP? It's just nothing as VHP. So let us do it. Two point five, two point five. You see, it's right in the center. Now let us do it. A margin left of suppose ninety percent. So it's right here. Let us do it. Eighty five percent. Eighty five percent. So see, it's now all perfect. No, what I will do is. Put a right here instead of margin left. I'll put a right, right of five px. So now whatever will happen, it will be on this. Per, I'll do it ten px. So now whatever in the world happens, it will be here itself. It won't move anywhere. So now we have almost done everything. Now what will we do is again give this. It's background color. So background, background color of this command V. So see, it is now all right. So now we can't see our hamburger menu here. So what I'll do is give a Z index. It's just like uh, layers in Photoshop. So I'll give a Z index of like two. So see, we get to see our hamburger now. What it did is this bring our object ahead. So now. Now, what I'll do is give this a clip path. I mean, just we'll make a mask out of it. So, if you don't know what a mask is, don't worry. I'll tell you. So, first, suppose this is our nav bar, and this is our big, this a uh, big one nav bar on the top, and this is how it is right now. 
So if I want to create a mask out of it, what I'll do is just tear it off in the center like this. Just make a circle in the center. I'm sorry. It's a very terrible circle. So there, it's our mask. See, it's like a mask also. So after that terrible analogy, let us get back to our code. So as I explained you what is a mask, let us implement it. So to add a mask, a circular, circular mask, we add a clip path here. So to specify a mask, we have to put a clip path, then circle, then we put a 50px or what is the size of a circle. So I'll put it 50px. So come on, see. So you can see now it is all good. So it is now just a circle here. What we'll do is we'll put it a 0px. So first we'll put 20 just to simulate it where it needs to go. So see, it is right here. Now I want to want it to go here on the top right, top right corner. So what I will do is give a at here at 10%. Instead so 110%. So see, it went here. So like this, we move it around the screen. So 50% at, we'll add it 80, 80%, 20% at 80%. So let us do it 90, 90% and we move it to the top. So 90%. And 10 percent. So see, it is now all here. So 10. Let us do it. 5. And let us do this. Instead of 90, let us do this. 95. So now I'll create here. I'll create here dot nav links dot open. So dot not nav links. It is dot ul dot open. So dot ul. I'm sorry. Ul dot open so now what i'll do is just put this just increase the size of it so as the hamburger menu will be clicked it will just stretch out like a it will be very fun so i'll just paste it here and instead of 20 pixels i'll do it 1300 or 1000 no, control s now you can see nothing is happening so if we want something to happen, we used to use we need to use JavaScript. So we'll just add a script here, script src dot slash app dot js. So now we have we have app dot js here. Okay. So now what I'll do is this clip path thing is not available in many browsers. So what I'll do and I recommend you to do is please please do a web kit right the web it clip path so now what will happen is this webkit clip path will uh, will be the same thing so i'll just select this control c control v and i'll just select this and paste it inside this and do it a thousand pixels so thousand come on this now now if i'll view it in any browser oops i'm sorry so now if i'll view it in any browser this would come all right so now let us come to the javascript part so you to, to do javascript i'll first give this a class class so class i'll give it a class as links command s now i added a script sic here that means script source, script is javascript, so I just command and click or control or click here. So see, we are in our app.javascript, so app.js, yeah, so what I'll do here is we need to toggle between two things, dot nav links, I mean dot ul dot open, we have to toggle between it. So now what I'll do is first we have to recognize this hamburger, so const, I'm sorry, const, burger <laughs> equals document dot query selector so query selector 
dot burger. So let us see. Is it burger only? Yeah. So see burger. Control C. Control uh, for confirmation. Control V. Now I'll create another const as um links or ul whatever it is all upon you so equal document dot query selector now again dot we gave here links so dot control c control v and so now what we'll do is as we click here so we'll listen an event on burger so as we click on the burger something would happen so we'll write burger dot add event listener will write here click so now what will happen as i click here the code i am writing here will execute so i'll make an arrow function i'm, I'm sorry i'll make an arrow function here so I'll, I'll write here links dot class list dot toggle open so now uh, let us see what happens see as i click here see boom what happened but you will say hey z the transition is not coming so for that purpose what i'll do is put a transition here transition 1s is in out so now see what happens Ooh, wow it's so beautiful so now let us close this and let me multitask now now we can we can see at this pixel resolution so see so now it is it's looking clickable also so now i'll remove this so see if you want to uh, now if i click on this at that time only this is applicable and if i uh, put this back on and if i click here this thing uh, is not no more there so if you want to do the similar thing what you can do is so here you have to put a uh, pointer events none and here you have to put pointer events pointer events all so now what will happen is here we can see nothing nothing is being clicked here let me remove this hashtag first so okay so we can see there is no link right here so as i click here this thing comes then this link is applicable so now let us see our program i mean our front end in another tab i'll inspect and from here i'll select different ones so first moto g4 so let us see it is working Oop, wow it's working so see it is all right as i cl click this it's working all well right whatever it is very nice we did it so now let us check let's check it out on another phone for another phone so which phone um iphone x so as you can see you could see that it is stretching down okay so see it's working here also all right so the thing link of the source code you will find in the link of this uh, in the in the description of the video so now let us take it for the ipad it is all wow, all right so now let us that uh, let us do it for dell latitude 7490 it has a 11920 by 100 p resolution so you can see it is working here also and in the real world that means in my laptop it's working all right so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time